Good evening, everyone. Welcome along. Thank you for joining me. It is Thursday, the 25th of July. I hope you are all well. Uh, if you are watching this, um, then yeah, it means I didn't get back in time. <laughs> That's basically the only way to look at it. Um, yeah, so I've got something on today. And if you are watching this, this is the emergency test of the emergency broadcast system. Um, but I will have had to make a decision quite early on. So you'll you'll may have already known from socials anyway, if you're uh, if you're watching this. Um, but yeah, so if you are watching this, if you're not watching this, then you will never see the light of day. Basically, um, the quiz will because the quiz questions will still be relevant, um, but the actual thing won't uh, see the light of day. Um, but yes, yeah, so we're going to get started then in just under 30 seconds time. So I hope you're all, all well. I hope you're all good. hope you're uh, having a beautiful week, no matter how you're getting on. If you're watching this, I have absolutely no idea because it's not thursday the 25th of july in my world i'll be honest it's a completely different time um if you can hear some slight clicking and clattering i was listening to it through my headphones and i couldn't really i could pick it up every so often i've got something printing at the moment and i've kind of running out of time to make sure that i've got these sort of emergency broadcast quizzes recorded and also get done what i need to do for various things i'm doing over the next few days so uh, apologies if you do hear a little clittering clattering it wasn't it didn't in my headphones it didn't sound too extreme uh the fan did so i've turned the fan off that was horrendous uh but anyway let's get on with your quiz for this evening so welcome along it is thursday the 25th of july 50 questions as always in front of us this evening we shall start where we always do with entertainment and your first question tonight is this number one according to which song are drinks free and there is fun and sunshine for everyone so according to which song are drinks free and there is fun and sunshine for everyone Number two, how are characters Mike, Carol, Alice, Marcia, Jan, Cindy, Greg, Peter and Bobby better known? So how are characters Mike, Carol, Alice, Marcia, Jan, Cindy, Greg, Peter and Bobby better known? Number three. Oh, hang on. Let's drop that. Back that one there. Sweet. Uh, name the actor behind the character. And I don't mean there's like a character hidden behind, you know, an actor hidden behind that character. I mean, what is the name of the person who does the voice for this character? Just simplified it for you. That's all. Uh, so name the actor behind this character. Number four, which group had 80s hits with automatic jump? And I'm so excited, as you can tell in my voice. Uh, which group had 80s hits with automatic jump? And I'm so excited. And number five, Joe Dolce had a hit with Shut Up Your What? So Joe Dolce had a hit with Shut Up Your What? Number six, who played the role of Anna Scott in the movie Notting Hill? Who played the role of Anna Scott in the movie Notting Hill? I mean, I only really remember that film for like the scene of Reese Ifans when he sort of stood there in front of all the paparazzi. 
I think to remember the film for, but it's sort of sticking for me. Uh, number seven, whose second album was entitled The Man Who Sold the World. So whose second album was entitled The Man Who Sold the World. Uh, number eight, name the cartoon from this picture. So name the cartoon from this picture. Number nine, the Sharks and the Jets were rival gangs in which movie? So the Sharks and the Jets were rival gangs in which movie? And number 10, complete the title of a song by Casey and the Sunshine, Sunshine, Shine. Sunshine on a rainy day. Complete the title of a song by Casey and the Sunshine Band. That's the way what? That's the way to Amarillo, maybe. Uh, complete the title of a song by Casey and the Sunshine Band. That's the way. By the way, if it com goes completely silent, don't panic. It's I'm muting my microphone on my end. So you haven't got that click, clack, click, clack, click, clack, click, clack. While you're trying to think about the questions, it shouldn't pick it up on my voice because uh, the gain is focused on me. But when there's complete silence, the microphone's looking for sounds. So uh, don't panic. If it's completely and utterly silent, it's not a problem. It's just I'm not talking and bashing things around my desk. It's an almighty challenge to remember to be unmuting myself as well for each question, which is testing me and I'll do my blood pressure in the break. <laughs> but let's move on uh, round two then with some food and drink for you tonight. Starting with this number one, a spork is a combination of a spoon and a what? So a spork is a combination of a spoon and what? Number two, what can be dry roasted, salted and butter? So what can be dry roasted, salted and butter? Number three, what is the main alcohol of a pina colada? Don't sing it, don't sing it, don't sing it, don't sing it, don't sing it. I mean me, you guys sing away to your heart's content back home. Uh, what is the main alcohol of a pina colada? All those times people were screaming at me that I was on mute. I don't think anyone would have done that while I was singing. Number four, the dish of poutine originates from which country? So the dish of poutine, poutine uh, originates from which country?
Number five, a Welsh rabbit is a hot cheese sauce served on what? So a Welsh, a, a Welsh, a Welsh. Yeah, my Welsh accent's not too bad. A Welsh rabbit is a hot cheese sauce served on what? I won't lie to you. Number six, what is the smell of a wine called? Got a particular name. Uh, what is the smell of a wine called? Number seven, which flour is used in Yorkshire puddings? I don't know why, if, if, what, when, why or how it would make much of a difference. But yeah, there's a, according to all recipes online, this is there's only a specific flour you should use. I may have to test this when I'm back. I might make some Yorkshire puddings with the other. There's a train going by, so I'm determined. Every time I, I, there's a train going in the direction of Blackburn, I can catch the driver. So I'm determined with a wave to see if I can get them at some point to go. <laughs> like a cartoon. <laughs> like a cartoon car that or something. No, but you know what I mean. You know, when, like, you, you know, as a kid, you used to stand on the bridge and you wave at the train driver as the train was going underneath and they go. <laughs> well, I'm determined to get one of them to eventually do that here. Uh, number eight, traditionally made from the Jewish. Uh, sorry, again. Traditionally made for the Jewish Sabbath. What is Shalah? So traditionally made for the Jewish Sabbath. What is Shalah? Number nine, what flavour ice cream is used in an Arctic roll? Take you back to your school days with this for some of you. Uh, but what flavour ice cream is used in an Arctic roll? Oh, you can buy in supermarkets, but this is like school day stuff. And finally, number 10, Moussaka originates from which country? <laughs> I'll let you put an answer down and then we'll go through the answers in a bit. I made a boo-boo. I caught the boo-boo. But anyway, Moussaka originates from which country? Sorry, I've been having big problems with tinnitus, so I've got something in my ears to try and help it at the moment. It's just... Anyway, right, round three is, as I record this, um, this is, well, not as I record this, because this round's in anyway. Uh, but round three is all about the Olympics for you. There's a lot of multiple choice questions in here, because I wanted to try and make this as accessible to everyone as possible. Um, but like I say, as I record this, the Olympics is still going ahead tomorrow. Not tomorrow in my world, tomorrow in your world, you know, because it's due to start on. Well, in fact, some of the events have already started, um, but the opening ceremony and everything is due to be on the 26th of July. Um, but I'm recording this not long after the world has gone completely and utterly mad uh, with a global shortage because someone wrote the wrong line of code. Uh, so, yeah, there's every possibility that technically it might not be able to go on, but who knows? Uh, so as I record this, it is still going ahead. Uh, if it's for whatever reason been postponed, I didn't know that. My crystal ball was not working. Uh, but 10 questions all on this year's Olympics. Starting with this, number one. Uh, what is the shortest track running event at this year's Olympics? So what is the shortest, shortest track running event at this year's Olympics?
Number two, this year's Olympics will see 329 events spanning how many sports? Is it 12, 22 or 32? So this year's Olympics will see 329 events spanning how many sports? 12, 22 or 32? Uh, number three, what will be handed out to certain participants that is 85 millimetres in, di in diameter? Eight and a half centimetres. Uh, what will be handed out to certain participants that is 85 millimetres in diameter? Number four, artistic, rhythmic and trampolining are the disciplines of which sport? So artistic, rhythmic and trampolining are the disciplines of which sport? Number five, which sport will be played on an in play surface of 274 centimeters by 152.5 centimeters so which sport will be played on an in play surface of 274 by 152 and a half centimeters Number six, which animal will take part in the modern pentathlon? So which animal will take part in the modern pentathlon? Number seven, breaking, as it's been called, but it's break dancing. But anyway, it's been listed as breaking. Uh, but breaking will make its debut in this year's Olympics. How many gold medals are available to win? Is it two, four, six or eight? So breaking will make its debut in this year's Olympics. But how many gold medals are available to win? Is it two, four, six, eight? Number eight, which of these basketball formats will not be in use at this Olympics? Is it 1B1, 1B1, 1V1, 3V3 or 5V5? Hmm. So which of these basketball formats will not be in use at the Olympics? Oh, I put X's in there. I should have just put V's. But anyway, uh, is it 1 on 1, 3 on 3 or 5 on 5? Number nine, which of these is not an Olympic cycling discipline? Is it BMX, rally, track or mountain? Which of these is not an Olympic cycling discipline? Is it BMX, rally, track or mountain? And the final question of the first half of the quiz, including this year's Summer Olympic Games 2024, how many times will Paris have hosted it? So including the 2024 Summer Olympics, how many times will Paris have hosted it?
There you have it. That's your first 30 questions then this evening. They are up on the hub now, as it has been for the last uh, few weeks, a uh, couple of months now. Uh, you need a code to get in. So if you scan that QR code at the top of your screen, go to jvpqquestions.com. Com. slightly changed the wording and now i can't find the life of me off the top of my head uh, i think it's uh recap rounds or quiz recap something along those lines i know the words recaps in there uh, so all you need to do is click on recap and for this click on part one it'll give you the first 30 questions the code you need to get in is that on screen two five zero one six seven that will give you access to the website and for that part of the for the first round uh first three rounds anyway and then there'll be another code for the second part of the quiz in a little while uh right i am going to take a seven that's not the right one that's the right one that says code two so put that off put that one on uh yeah so i'm going to take a seven minute break and when i return i shall be back i shall be back with some answers see you after this
Can't push the right button really, doesn't it? Right, answers then coming up for your first. Mm. One of these is an improperly. Uh, answers then for your first 30 questions then coming up in just a short moment's time. So get those answer sheets ready. Okay, now that says fried chicken. That's not right. There we go. Entertainment. Okay, right. Let's give you the first 30 answers and see how you've done so far this evening. Question number one tonight. Oh, really irritating me because it's not in the right place. That's better. Uh, according to which song are uh, according to which song are drinks free? And there is fun and sunshine for everyone. There's enough for everyone. Club Tropicana. Uh, number two. How were characters Mike, Carol, Alice, Marcia, Jan, Cindy, Greg, Peter, and Bobby? Better known the Brady Bunch. Is a story. Do, 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 do. Uh, number three, name the actor behind the character. That is Tom Hanks. It's the conductor from the Polar Express. Number four, which group had 80s hits with automatic jump? And I'm so excited. The Pointer Sisters. Number five, Joe Dolce had a hit with Shut Up Your Face. It's an eight today. I can't remember the words. Number six, who played the role of Anna Scott in the movie Notting Hill? It was Julia Roberts. Number seven, whose second album was entitled The Man Who Sold the World? It's David Bowie. David Bowie fans, don't come at me for this, by the way. So he had the first album, which was called David Bowie. He then re-released it. Um, I think there was a slight tweak to the name, but he re-released it. It was essentially the same album. And then this was the next one. That's my research anyway. Uh, number eight, name the cartoon. That is Tom and Jerry. Mm, Thomas. Number nine, the Sharks and the Jets were rival gangs in West Side Story. And number 10, complete the title of a song by Casey and the Sunshine Band. That's the way. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That is the way. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Round two is food and drink for you. Number one, a spork is a combination of a spoon and a fork. Use the fork, Luke. Use the fork. <laughs> Number two, what can be dry roasted, salted and butter? It is peanuts. Number three, what is the main alcohol of a pina colada? It is rum. If you... Number four, a dish of poutine originates from which country? It is Canada. I don't know why I muted myself for that song. I've just been singing through the entertainment round and then I go and mute myself for a bit of that. Mm, never mind. Number five, a Welsh rarebit is a hot cheese sauce served on what? It is toasted bread. Number six, what is the smell of a wine called? It is its hyacinth bouquet. I'll get my coat. Number seven, which flour is used in Yorkshire puddings? It is plain flour. I'm going to try this with self-raising flour and see what it does. I'll, I'll report back. Uh, number eight, traditionally made for the Jewish Sabbath. What is shalah? It is bread. Number nine, what flavour ice cream is used in an Arctic roll? It is vanilla. And number 10, Musaya. Musaka originates from which country? Now, originally, my original answer standing for this was Greece. Okay. Wrote this a few weeks ago, boxed it off, put it to one side. Everything was hunky dory. Until I was looking for something else and I came across. Uh, I came across. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, I came across it might not actually have just originated in Greece. So if you've put one of these, Greece, Turkey, or any of the Middle Eastern countries. So <laughs> you get a point, you get a point, you get a point. As long as you had Greece, Turkey, or one of the Middle Eastern countries. Uh, I I had on my original research Greece, but then, yeah, stumbled across a rabbit hole. And... Round three on your Olympics, then number one. What is the shortest track running event at this year's Olympics? It's 100 metres. Number two, this year's Olympics will see 329 events spanning how many sports? It is 32. Number three, what will be handed out to certain participants? That is 85 millimetres in diameter. It is medals. Number four, artistic, rhythmic and trampolining are the disciplines of gymnastics. Number five, which sport will be played on an on an in-play surface of 274 centimetres by 152.5 centimetres? 
table tennis. That's the reason why I put in play, uh, because the ball's got to hit the table. But if you've ever watched table tennis, they end up probably twice the length of the table back trying to take the shots. That's never how I play table tennis in school. You're always right up against the table. Make sure you don't touch it. Not like being three weeks back and stood in the bar and still trying to hit it. Anyway, moving on. Number six, which animal will take part in the modern pentathlon? It is horses. Number seven, breaking will make its debut in this year's Olympics. How many gold medals are available to win? There are two. And number eight, which of these basketball formats will not be in use at the Olympics? It's the 1v1. Uh, they introduced 3v3, uh, 3 versus 3 last year and they kept it. 5 versus 5 is the standard basketball format. Anyway, I honestly would love to see 1v1 basketball. I think that would be quite a spectacle if I'm honest. Number nine, which of these is not an Olympic cycling discipline? It is rally. And finally, number 10, including the 2024 Summer Olympics. How many times will Paris have hosted it? Uh, joint and now holding the record once this Olympics is finished with London. It is three. So there we go. That's your first 30 answers then of this evening. Todd, your scores up. How is thou getting on? Uh, you do have the YouTube live chat available for you this evening as well. Uh, if you are watching this, if you're watching the quiz like this, then yes, you have the YouTube live chat available for you tonight to share your score along with the usual other channels and platforms, etc., etc. Uh, still to come, a connections round. All oh, right, okay. Uh, I've, I've got three connections rounds that I'm recording sort of back to back in case I need to use these quizzes over the week uh, while I've got some stuff going on and might not make it back. So I couldn't remember which one it is tonight, but now I remember. So it's fine. Just have a quick sneaky peeky. Okay. I think everyone is good to go. Oh, excuse me. There's a hiccup or a yawn. Right, here we go. Round four then. Connections. Nine questions as always. Question number 10. What links the nine answers together? What H is a common religious, cosmological or transcendent supernatural place? Oh, yeah. Just to clarify, because just in case Liz is watching along with um, Jade and Fella. Um, I, I can't remember a fella's name off the top of my head. Um, yes, I have had the dictionary out this evening for your connections around for some of these questions. I'd start to me this. What H is a common religious, cosmological or transcendent supernatural place? Number two, which company has TV channels of news, sports and arts? So it's something news, something sports, something arts, just to clarify. Number three, the G7 is a collection of seven of the most powerful what? You might sit there and go with one word, but only. See, if I tell you the word that I, that doesn't fit with the connection, it gives you the answer in case you don't know it. Um... It's the longer word. The shorter word doesn't fit fit with the connection. If my maths is right, do I want to do that on my fingers then quite quickly? Uh, yeah, it's the it's the longer of the two possible words you could use to describe this. Number four, what R describes a particular system of faith and worship? Uh, what R describes a particular system of faith and worship? Whoa, number five, what word describes a person who spends a lot of time thinking about or planning enjoyable events that are not likely to happen? So what word describes a person who spends a lot of time thinking about or planning enjoyable events that are not likely to happen?
Uh, number six, the earth together with all of its countries and peoples is called what? So the earth together with all of its countries and peoples is called what? Number seven, what P describes things owned by a person? What a P describes things owned by a person. So I've, I'm creating a word search for one of the Saturday breaks. I don't know which one it's going to be. You may have already seen this. This may have been in last Saturday's quiz. We've been playing on Saturday or it's to come this Saturday. And while now it's generated, I've just got it on the right hand side of me and I'm just making sure. So last time I did a word search on screen, there may have been a rude word that I had missed. So I'm desperately going through this to make sure there's no rude words uh, number eight what is the name of one of the deadly sins described by intense and selfish desire for something what is the name of one of the deadly sins described by intense and selfish desire for something I get away with a three letter word that begins with S and ends in X. That's not really. It's. Hmm. I mean, to be fair, it's a moot point, really, because you may have already seen this crossword anyway. Uh, number nine, what describes a feeling of discomfort or weakness caused by a lack of food? What describes a feeling of discomfort or weakness caused by a lack of food? As always, question 10, what links those nine answers together? I imagine there's some people struggling with that tonight. I have no doubt. And I imagine there are some people who have got it straight away as well. That's the beauty of a connections round. You either know it or you don't. Jebra knowledge then to wrap up this evening's quiz number one. Which French museum is home to the Mona Lisa? Which French museum is home to the Mona Lisa? Number two, what is the name of the Scottish soup consisting of leeks and peppered chicken stock? What is the name of the Scottish soup consisting of leeks and peppered chicken stock? Uh, number three, which of these is closest to the surface of the earth? Is it the core, the mantle or the crust? So which of these is clo is closest to the surface of surface of the earth? Is it the core, the mantle or the crust? Number four, what CD describes the scientific method that can accurately determine the age of organic materials? So what CD describes the scientific method that can accurately determine the age of organic materials?
Number five, what is the name of the line that runs through Greenwich? Just to clarify, I'm not talking about London Underground lines. What is the name of the line that runs through Greenwich? We're talking transport. That was number five. I haven't somehow ended up. How have I ended up like two number fours? Four and four, then six. That should be number five. This is number six. Uh, what was the name of the duo behind the opera's HMS Pinafore? Pirates of Penzance and the Yeoman of the Guard. What was the name of the duo behind the opera's HMS Pinafore? Pirates of Penzance and the Yeoman of the Guard. Number seven, the T.S. Eliot poem, The Wasteland, describes, uh, sorry, declares even, which month is the cruelest? So the T.S. Eliot poem, The Wasteland, declares which month is the cruelest? Uh, number eight, the Serpentine is a large lake found in which royal park? So the Serpentine is a large lake found in which royal park? Uh, number nine, of which country was the Ming Dynasty from 1368 to 1644? So of which country was the Ming Dynasty from 1368 to 1644? Do you know what? I get all the way to the final question and then forget to unmute myself. Ah, it's impressive. Nice progress, I suppose. Um, number five, uh, round, uh, I'll start again. Round five, question 10. Tylenol and Panadol are brand names of which tablet is used to treat mild to moderate pain among other conditions. So Tylenol and Panadol are brand names of which tablet used to treat mild to moderate pain among other condition conditions. So that then is all of your questions for this evening. Those final 20 then are up now on the hub at jvpqquestions.com. As always, scan that QR code if it's easier, uh, whichever way you want to do it. Uh, and the code you need is 250207. That will allow you access through the secret VIP door, past the velvet rope and into those final 20 questions. Uh, right, on the mean, in the meantime, let's put code two up on the break take code one down and i shall return in seven minutes with some answers see you surely now now now
Okay, it's time to wrap up this evening's quiz in a short moment's time. So get those answer sheets ready to go. Connections, that makes better. That is that one onto there, and that is that one. Uh, yeah, so um, there'll be another quiz on Saturday night as normal. Uh, so just in less than 48 hours' time, another 50 questions will be available for you on Saturday. But if you cannot join us on Saturday, uh, don't forget to come back every Thursday night, as I have been for the last four and, uh, well, yeah, four and a half years. This is crazy. Uh, but, yeah, so I will be yeah, I'll be back on Thursday, as I always am. Uh, whether it's live or pre-recorded, there has always been a quiz on a Thursday night since March to 20, March 26th of March 2020. Four and a half years. Okay, right, but on that note, let's go to that one, that one, and that one. Let's give you then... Oh, I'm going to turn the fan off. Sorry, I was absolutely melting in that seven-minute break, so I turned the fan back on. Uh, right, let's see how you did. As I said before, I imagine that some of you may have struggled with this, uh, but let's see how you did then. Whoa, too fast. Number one, what H is a common religious, cosmological, or transcendent supernatural place? Heaven. Number two, which company has TV channels, news, sports, and arts? It is Sky, Sky News, Sky Sports, Sky Arts. Number three, the G7 is a collection of seven of the most powerful what? Countries. That's why I said nations w does work. Doesn't work with the connection. That's why I said go with the longer word. I couldn't sort of say, yeah, don't go with nations because then you just know it's countries. Uh, number four, what R describes a particular system of faith and worship? It is religion. And number five, what word describes a person who spends a lot of time thinking about or planning enjoyable events that are not likely to happen? Dreamer. Uh, number six, the earth together with all of its countries and peoples is called the world. Uh, number seven what p describes things owned by a person it's possessions uh, number eight what is the name of one of the deadly sins described by intense and selfish desire for something it is greed number nine what describes a feeling of discomfort or weakness caused by a lack of food it is hunger Unless you're really, really grumpy at the same time and then it becomes anger. So what links all of your questions this evening? Some of you will probably have picked up on the fact that I've said this word around about four times since I got to the end of the connection round. It is John Lennon. Imagine. I imagine there's some people may have struggled with this tonight. I imagine there's some people who haven't. See, I'm giving away clues subtly when people don't even realise uh, but well done if you did get this evening's connection round. Final 10 is general knowledge then for tonight. Number one, which French museum is home to the Mona Lisa? It's the Louvre. And two, what is the name of the Scottish soup consisting of leeks and peppered chicken stock? Stop giggling in the back when I say this. Uh, it's cockaleeky soup. I'm looking at you, Ben. Stop giggling. Number three, which of these is closest to the surface of the earth? Is it the core, the mantle or the crust? It is the crust. And number four, what CD describes the scientific method that can accurately determine the age of organic materials? It is carbon dating. Number five, what is the name of the line that runs through Greenwich? It's the prime meridian. Number five, what was the name of the duo behind the operas? HMS Pinafore, Pirates, Penzance, and the Yeoman of the Guard. It's Gilbert and Sullivan. <laughs> and number seven, the T.S. Eliot poem. T.S. Eliot poem, The Wasteland, describes which month is the cruelest? It is April. I don't know why I said like that. April. Not really the cruelest month because, you know. No, no, no. Do you know what? There's a joke in there about me and something being born, but I'm not even going to go there. Uh, <clears throat> Number eight, the Serpentine is a large lake found in which royal park it is Hyde Park. Uh, number nine, of which country was the Ming Dynasty from 1368 to 1644? It was China. 
And your final question thus this evening, when it wants to change, Tylenol and Panadol are brand names of which tablet used to treat mild to moderate pain, among other conditions? It's paracetamol. So, tot your scores up. You have 50 points available to you tonight. Um, remember, share your scores across social media on Facebook and Instagram. There'll be a post up right about now. I've probably got that timing completely wrong. Uh, but yeah, there'll be a post up now. So do share your scores on socials. Let me know how you got on this evening. I imagine the usual people who share their scores will be there. But if you've never done it before, join them. Get involved. Uh, if you have ended up on the same score as people you're playing against, or you want to do this for fun, the tiebreaker tonight is this. How many nations will be taking part in this year's Olympic Games? Can I just clarify? This is up to and including uh, the 19th of July. Um, because at the moment, I mean, six days to go between now and then. Um, countries may have pulled out. So this was up to the 19th of July. Just in case it was like, oh, Tuesday, and everyone just decided they'd didn't want to do it anymore and pulled out could be different uh, but remember nearest to it gets the point as always however if you end up still on the same score uh, rock paper scissors to decide your winner this evening in three two three two on the french never mind 206 there are 206 nations taking part in this year's olympic And that is it for your quiz this evening on this Thursday night. So, yeah, as I said, how have you got on? Let me know across our social platforms. Remember, if you've never done it before, do it. It's great because I go back through them and it does really, really does help. Um, you know, because quizzes that I think are really, really easy turned out to be really, really hard. Quizzes, you know, vice versa, etc. cetera. So, um, yeah, so do share your scores. Do let me know how you got on. Um, so that is it from me for this evening. Um, like I say, you may even have never watched this. If you watch this, then something has happened, which has meant that I've not been able to get back in time to do this live um but yeah so uh, yeah that, that's it basically um you may this may be consigned to my recycle bin on my computer who knows uh but that is it from me this evening i will be back on saturday night with another 50 questions for you or i will return if you can't play on saturday i will see you back here next thursday night that is it I was going to go into per uh, the Porky Pig then. Blah, 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 that's all, folks. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. I'll do my usual outro. That is it from me. As always, thank you very much for playing. We'll see you soon. Take care. I know there's people at home, though, because I've got messages about this, that they also say this at the same time. And that's why I was pausing for dramatic effect, just to catch them out. But as always for me, we'll see you soon. Take care. Stay safe. <laughs>